Pisces. What's good, my beautiful fishies? How you guys doing? I hope you're well. Thank you so much for watching Mama Faya Tarot. I am Melissa, and I am here to give Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, North Node, uh, any strong Pisces placement, a wonderful love reading today. I'm really hoping to get some really positive energies. Um, my energy's a little high because I just did a group, and that can, it always gets me like, revved up ready to potty so Pisces you got me in a good energy and I'm really glad to give you a reading tonight um what is this going to be two energies and I'm going to be pulling how people feel and then I'm going to post a um extended in on ribbon and you can rent that to see what the outcome is going to be and any advice including any crystal healing advice um if you want a personal reading you can check the description box below um, I am the house reader for everybody in my wellness center, um, or you can order a video reading on Wissio. So whether you join me on Ribbon, Wissio, or at the center uh, through Zoom, I would love to have your patronage. Um, and if you are new to my channel, thank you so much for checking me out. I'm really glad you're here. Uh, please hit that subscribe button. And if you're a returning subscriber, I love you. You know I love you so much. You're why I, I bust these readings out every week. So, um, and if this reading resonates or if you just like me uh, and you think I'm cool, please hit that like button. I really, really appreciate it. It helps the channel, um, not the channel, helps the video circulate. Subscribing really helps the channel grow. So both are really, really important to us readers and anybody else who's making content here on YouTube. Uh, you know, help some people out by hitting those buttons. It's free. All right, here we go. Dear Father God, Mother Earth, spare guides, angels, and ancestors, please protect me and my viewers by only allowing your messages from the highest of vibrational beings and block any negative energies from entering this sacred space, so won't it be. All right, my beauties. Ooh, that was quick. That was quick. Oh, don't forget to check out the Green Witch Home, too. All right, that's also in the description box. You got a lot of cards here, Pisces. I'm just going to get right to it, though. This one is rough energy this comes out a lot that we've got to move past ancestral patterns we all have a lot of unlearning to do you know and we've all like it's so funny because like none of us were truly loved 100 percent right right like everybody's parents screwed up somewhere and i know i'm screwing up sometimes with my kid i don't mean to you know i'm doing the best i can and so I'd like to believe that most of our parents also did the best they could with what they had, you know, and many of them came from abusive or dirt poor environments. And so, you know, just always understanding that, you know, people tend to just do the best they can with what they have. Now, granted, 20, one out of 25 people is a sociopath. There's narcissists. There's, you know... I mean, shit, look at the amount of serial killer documentaries on Netflix alone, and you'll see. Like, there's a lot of bad people in the world, but the majority of people are good, and the majority of people are just doing the best they can with what they got. And I believe that about you, and I believe that about your, your people before you, but it's truly about unlearning those, understanding that the stuff that you were taught were not, is not always what's right. And as adults, we can educate ourselves and make different choices, right, Pisces? You are going through some big changes. And I do think that that's been a really hard thing for you to unlearn some of these unhealthier patterns, maybe in relationship or self-love type stuff, but you're embracing the changes. And so good for you, baby. I think that's awesome. And I think that, you know, being a mutable sign, that's often easier for you than say the fixed signs, you know? Ooh, enjoy success and happiness. So, not everything is dark and doom and gloom for my Pisces, and I love that. It's, you know, you're really in a good place right now, and I want you to enjoy that. I want you to really um, understand that no matter what's going on, you're going to be okay, and that, you know, you've got some real success and happiness here. I mean, shit, that's a great card. It's the best card in the deck. So set your sights higher. Know that, so this sort of ties in with, you know, this move beyond ancestral patterns thing of like, you know, set your sights higher than even your parents set for you if you have to, or or for yourself. Uh, 
this is also my spy kid, so the Pisces, you may be spying both maybe intentionally, maybe not intentionally. Uh, you know, even watching a YouTube video about someone is kind of considered spying, you know? So um, I don't count that for married couples, though. I feel like, or people who live together, I, I don't know. I just don't think it counts. Um, all right, anyway, that's a whole other thing, though. All right, wise one, you're so smart. You're so smart. Like, you're so smart. And, and, and I just keep saying that. And it's because, like, I think you need to understand that. Like, you need to really understand just how intelligent you are and, and how your thinking isn't off, even if someone is trying to tell you it is. So you may be getting a little gaslit, Pisces, by this person. I don't know. We'll see. But that's what I'm getting. Like, maybe someone's trying to get you to question yourself, you know, in a way. Um, Father Sky. Um... Trust the unknown. So know that your connection to spirit is very strong. I think this came out for Pis uh, cancer as well. And then medicine mother. Oh, yeah, these two both came out for, for cancer. So you might have some cancer in your chart. Might be a very watery individual because this is a Scorpio card for me. So you might have all three water signs like I have all three fire signs. Um, that's a lot, but it's okay, Pisces. Um, it's, you know... Know that your intuition is 100% on point and it can be trusted. Um, this medicine mother applies to male or female Pisces here. You can have very mothering energy. You can care very much about the people around you and be male and be a masculine male. That's not exclusive. Mother energy is not exclusive to, to women. It's, you know, I see mother energy in my baby daddy when he's with my daughter, especially when she was little you know, and really needed that next level. And he was a single dad. He had to embrace that. And he did amazing. And it didn't make him any less masculine. In fact, it made him more masculine, you know, to be able to be that. Um, he's just the best. And I think whether you're a male or a female Pisces, I'm getting for some reason, I'm getting a lot of male Pisces uh, energy from this, but you definitely could be female as well. It doesn't really matter. You could be non-binary um, and, you know, and still be an amazing mother. Like, it's like that, that isn't exclusive is what I'm trying to get at. Anyway, um, ooh, your person had a bunch of cards for them and I didn't even notice. I hope that resonates with you, Pisces, and you're able to get a lot from that. I spent a lot of time on that. Uh, uh, so we got to get moving. Your person, speaking of moving, may be moving. Uh, your person is moving in a whole new direction. And I don't know if that's away from you, Pisces. Or if they want that with you, it does seem there is an element of them wanting to take you with them because they're making plans and they're real focused on this move. So you may be married and your spouse may want to move houses, may want to sell your house, may want to go to a different part of the country. And you may be like, oh man, I don't know. And, you know, so that may be why you're struggling with this change or whatever. Do your research and honor your inner knowing. Uh, if that's not it, if say, you know, you're not with this person at all, this person may be looking to move um, away and that, or they may be moving away from you a little bit, Pisces. Um, I know it does look like this person's trying really hard to just like stay positive and grounded and, and make good moves here. So I'm not getting any real negative energy from your person. So you easily could be married and this person like is like, just wants to, I'm getting, this is a person who wants to plant their roots, that wants to get, you know, to a good place. Um, and I do get that they do hope you'll be with them, Pisces. Spirit Fox, trust the talents in changing times. Yeah, these are changing times, right? So, I mean, shit. But I do think both of you are pretty intuitive here. Um, your person's got some talents of alchemy or something going on with this white witch. Um, and staying grounded to them is very, very important. All right, let's see. What's what's up with Pisces in this reading? This feels very, like, I feel, I don't know, very up in the ethers. So this may be a spiritual connection that you guys aren't in contact. That could be true for both of you as well. Or this could be a future person. I don't know. I'm starting to think like I need to like break out my energies like married Pisces, single Pisces, 
in a commitment Pisces kind of thing. Ooh, Ace of Cups and Ten of Wands. Oof. You. All right, so that, okay, that explains it. Stop seeing love as a burden. I think love really, like, can be overwhelming for you. Um, I think as a water sign, emotions you guys feel so deeply. And I think that um, it's like you've put a lot of burdens on this. Or it feels like a burden to you. That's tough. Love doesn't have to be hard, Pisces. <coughs> Excuse me. Four wands and the hermit. All right, so the, the majority of you are not together. Okay? It's almost like you feel like you're on a twin flame journey alone. Pisces. And I'm a Pisces Mercury, so I, I wonder if I should watch Pisces reading sometimes. And actually, in Vedic, I'm a Pisces. So, But it does seem like it's like, you know, or you may be questioning if, if, that's, if you're on a twin flame journey. Now, I don't believe all of us are. Um, or you may feel like you're better off living alone. If, if twin flames has nothing to do with this, you feel like you're better off alone. And that's not necessarily true, Pisces. And I think you're so smart that it can be hard for you to find people who you connect with in a way that feels meaningful. If you're the married Pisces, I definitely think if your person wants to move you feel like you would have to go with them and you would have to support that. They may be more of the breadwinner of the family and you may be able to work from anywhere. So there's very like, you know, and if it's for a job, but you, I don't think you really want to go. And I think you might get a little resentful. So be careful. Okay. And just be fully honest with your person about with your spouse that, you're going to do it for them to support them, but you have every intention on coming back or something. Have some kind of compromise or if you can manage to come visit or something, you know, because I do think, I don't think you want to go anywhere. I think you want to stay where you guys are and I think your person wants to go. There's something about that. So you guys may have to work this out. Strength. Ooh, you could be dealing with a Leo. Uh, your person is definitely holding back. They're very confused right now. And I think that if you guys aren't together, this person's holding back, maybe because they're, they're dating other people. That's only if you're not together. If you, you are in a committed relationship or married or something, this person has a lot of options for work. Yeah, seven of pentacles. So seven of cups, seven of pentacles. Um, and this could be true even actually if you're not with this person that it may be a lot of options for work and they're just so focused on the job and the career and you can't fault someone right now for that. You know, it's very, very hard to like blame someone who, you know, to like for paying attention to that, you know, for making their career a priority right now when everything is so up in the air. Um, However, love is important. Work isn't everything. And there's balance. Whoa. You could definitely be dealing with a Leo. Bold strength card. So this is one of those few decks that has doubles. And this got two, I think, two worlds, two strength cards, two moons. Ooh, and the magician. Definitely could be dealing with someone with fire or Gemini. Or Virgo, uh, Virgo Leo Cusper, um, but this person is working on their manifestations and definitely not talking to you. It's like all that. Wow. This remind. This is very much like they they are just so focused on work and their job and and making the money. And creating, um, it's like almost like this person is really focused on building legacy. 
right on. I mean, I like your person. I get it. I resonate. However, I think that, you know, I understand if you're feeling, especially if you're married to this person, if you're feeling emotionally neglected. Communication is important, but I think you are going to have to be the one. Pisces, you may have some Virgo in your chart. You're going to have to be the one to bring it up. Even if you feel like you're defensive or feel defensive, it's important that you express yourself um, because you're not wrong, especially if this person is in a loving relationship with you. If you and this person don't talk and you chose not to talk to them because love was a burden and it was too much, um, I think... You know, see, generals get iffy because I get a bunch of different messages sometimes. Um, but Pisces, if you and this person don't talk, I don't think this person feels like they owe you anything. And they probably don't. So you're going to have to, you know, go to them. And you're going to have to express yourself. And you're going to have to work with them a little more. Try to watch any defensive energy. Whoa, this four cups. I... The Four of Cups can be interpreted so many... Well, at least for me as a reader, I read this differently almost every time. Um, but it almost always comes down to missed opportunities or being worried about missing an opportunity. And what I'm worried about for you, Pisces, is you're going to be the one who misses the opportunity here if you don't express yourself. Um, I think that that's the thing that's... I feel like the longer the time goes by, the worse it gets. And so if you're married, it's time to talk to them tonight. <laughs> you know, like it's, it, you've got to. And if you're not with this person, I mean, I don't know. I just, I don't want to see you give up anything really beautiful, Pisces. High Priestess, that's you, babe. That's you. And you're, it's, it's your lack of communication with this person that is going to lead to the demise of it um or what what i'm having here is like you you're or if you're married to this person you're really i understand this and and you know i feel bad if you're married to this person you're really afraid to feel like you're holding trying to hold them back because you don't want to go or you don't want to move or you don't want to do whatever it is that that is required, you know, and this person could be in the military. Um, oh, excuse me, death. Yeah, if you're married, and this is what I think, like, it's you're afraid of the changes, um, or this death is falling on top of no more missed opportunities, no more holding back. You're gonna change that, and you're gonna maybe express yourself, Pisces. Um, you know, or you're at least trying to come up with a way to do so. Um, I really wish humans as a collective, not just Pisces, not just any sign, every single sign would get better at saying how they really feel. Like it's, I mean, I wouldn't have nearly as many clients, but still people would be way healthier. Because look at this. You're sad, Pisces. You're sad. And... I think if you're, if I, I understand, like, if you're married, I do, I totally understand this. And that, like, if my, you know, significant other got an amazing opportunity somewhere else, I'd have a, I'd struggle, you know, um, or whatever, you know, like, it just it seems like a really realistic, understandable situation, especially if you have family and friends in an area. Like, I just, I can see. You know, and I think it's your hurt that your spouse got another job or something, and, and but the money is really good. If you're not married, um, you definitely could have been hurt by someone who you thought was going to take care of you. That's rough. That's rough, Pisces, and that might be why. Or if you're not talking to this person, you may be hurt that and worried that this person is talking to somebody else. But you've got, like, but you are a king of pentacles and a high priestess. You're just going through some really big changes. So be be honest about how you feel with people, basically. Whether you're married, single, or in a relationship, it's, 
be honest, basically. Ooh, the magician twice and the ten of coins. This person is manifesting big money, good life, big time. And I feel like um, you are so afraid that you're going to hold them back. And that is really loving. And it's almost like they've got to work alone. Definitely both of you could have some Virgo in your charts. Or there's definitely a Gemini here. Uh, Aries. Um, let me see. This is going long, Pisces. You're getting a longer reading than some. But I do think that this person feels like they're doing what's best for them or for the family or for the couple as a unit. And they're not, I don't think they're really wrong. I think it's just not an ideal situation, especially if you're married. Justice and the Queen of Coins. Ah, oh, here we are. Here they are. The magical couple. And Justice, you definitely could be married. This could easily be a marriage. And you may have to give up a job so this person can take the, this job. Oh, Pisces, that's hard too. If not... This is definitely a strong soulmate connection. And I mean, it's almost like I'm getting we belong together. I don't even like that song. She's a fellow Aries. I have the same birthday as her and everything. But you could be dealing with the Libra. Um, I do think that this person, if you're not together, they may have left you because you weren't willing to commit to them. Um, and they're just working on their best life. That's if you two are broken up. And so I'll see in the extended, any advice, any crystal healing advice, uh, what the outcome's going to be and all that. But this is a really like cool person you're dealing with Pisces or Pisces, you may resonate with this side. Strength at the bottom of the deck, a lot of Leo energy on this as well. So you definitely could be dealing with a Leo. Uh, and Capricorn energy, and lots of Virgo. Um, oh, and Taurus. So a lot of Earth, a lot of Leo, and I am going to go over in the extended where this is going. All right, Pisces, I love you. I hope it resonated. If you are that married couple, I mean, that's tough energy. You, It looks like you're, you're going to support your spouse. I mean, I really think that that's, there's not too much of a choice, but we'll see in the extended what, what you end up doing. All right, my loves. Take care. Love you.